I'll be heading out to another call tomorrow, guys, but the issue is that I have to rearrange my stuff a little bit. As you can see, there's no official toolboxes on the back. I have these totes, which I really like. They're good totes, and they'll get me until I have some better toolboxes I can put on this truck. But I was trying to section them off in the best way possible. So I have my True Blue hoses, Navac 4 CFM pump, Hub 6, and my scale, which is a UEI, what is it? It's a pretty nice little scale. WRS 110 from UEI. So, I think this is a complete bundle here of vacuum and refrigeration testing equipment. Now I have some other test instruments here like leak detector and stuff like that. And then I have my stuff over here. This old beater, which I found in the yard, which has some randoms and it has some power tools and some coil cleaner and stuff. It's kind of disheveled, but it is what it is. So I'm gonna try to rearrange these a little bit better, put some of the stuff up there in the cab and see if I can't get a healthy load together before tomorrow. The following HVAC Shop Talk video is brought to you by UEI Test Instruments. Their great tools include the new C161 Combustion Analyzer, the DL429B Clamp Multimeter, and the Hub 6 Refrigeration Analyzer. Find out more at UEITest.com. For those who don't know, Tractor Supply sells farm supplies and just a wide variety of outdoor stuff and some tools and stuff like that. But I will tell you this, it is the harbor freight of farm supplies. There is a heavy stench of Chinese stuff inside, for sure. I haven't checked it all. They do have some name brand stuff like DeWalt, Ingersoll Rand compressors. There's a whole bunch of stuff in there that's name brand. But to me, this is the harbor freight of farm supply. But they do have chicken food and bird food that I need. Well, hey there, bud. You don't have to be angry. Don't be angry. It's going to be okay. Not going to be able to work on this Bryant unit because Mr. Puppy's going to bark at me. We're just checking it out. Mr. Puppy, be cool, all right? I like this unit because it has one of those resettable fuses. That's very nice. Resettable fuse, heat strips. There's a relay I put in a few years ago, and we are kind of nasty in here. It needs to be cleaned out a little bit. Good grief. Nasty, nasty stuff. So let me clean this stuff out. We'll check the run capacitors here. We have a dual run. Should have one for the blower somewhere. It's on top. Pain in the ass. All right. Pain in the ass blower capacitors on top. Something I can also see is there's some oil on this line right here. It must be leaking a little bit from this either this joint or just getting out from under that cap so we'll have to see over there in the box I have my cheater cord hooked up got my vacuum out so I can vacuum some of this stuff out hopefully clean it up a little bit then we can get on with the testing process Cleaned up a little bit in here. It's not perfect, it's better. This is the heat kit. You see this little door that opens up right here for the heat kit on this unit. Got a couple relays back there instead of sequencers. So we're gonna test voltage going into here just to confirm it's off. And then we're gonna test the rest of our components so we can do, as you can see, like I said, there's a new blower relay and a new contactor up there. I put both of those in a few years ago. So we're gonna test these run capacitors basically and then get the system all buttoned back up so we can do a little bit better testing. One thing I don't like about these units is one big door. Instead of having one door it can put across the middle, we have to block this door off while we're testing the refrigerant, or just use our smart probes and close the door, which is probably what we're gonna do. 
instead of the Z-manifold. Go ahead and tone out all these fuses too just to make sure they're good because you can actually lose a fuse and the homeowner might not notice because they're heat strips. Tone means they're good. That one bad one, one good one. So you can see the path goes around here. A one blown fuse. Alright. So it's good that we did that. Alright, we have a 40 slash 5 run capacitor. So we need to test that. Let's try on our 40 size first. Took away those leads. 38 microfarad, which is still good. That is 4.462, so that one's actually out of the acceptable range. So technically you would replace this. So that'll be brought to their attention as well. Blower capacitor is a 15 microfarad. I expect this one to be low. Just call it a hunch. Nope, 14.45. She's good to go. I was wrong. We're going to mount it in a different spot though because it was horribly mounted before. Always spin the blower wheel just to double check. We're good. Don't know how well this comes out, but 602 A and X maybe? 024 triple zero double A HD two ton package unit. Should be coming on in a minute. While we're waiting for it, I'll go check out the little one on the other side. Our 51 degrees. So heat should be running some pretty decent pressure because it's warmer outside. All right, we're gonna open this one up, take a look at it. All right, confirmed power is off. Of course, we still have low voltage power on, so gotta be careful of that. I'm gonna try to ease this thing out a little bit if I can. They're really tight in there. And this Malco chuck might not get it. What I wanna do is I wanna see what rating this capacitor is because it's facing backwards for some reason. Why would they do that to us? Oh, just a little bit, come on. Right. Ain't gonna work. See, now we spin it around, and you can't see the numbers. <laughs> it cares. Is this on purpose, man? Let's see. Right there, we can see. It's a 47 and a half. So we'll leave it like that. All right, 47 and a half. Get turds off of it. What we can do is we can take off the brown terminal for the fan. We can take off the blue terminal for the compressor. And then we can test both of those and see where they're at. Back in in a second. You can do this. You can just push up. It separates them really easy. Theoretically. Put that over here. Tuck it out. Set on microfarads we have. Compressor side, 31.94, which is low, 31.94, and we have 6.84, which is also low, but the 31's way low. Okay, so this really should be changed as well. So we'll see. It's one of the Chinese ones. It looks like it's probably one. Even I might have put this in. I'm not sure. So definitely low. We have 8.92 amps on the compressor side. It's compressor and fan, which is good. Not too high. I can separate them out, but it's hard to get into that cabinet without blocking that thing off and causing air to leak. So I just want to double check things over here. Nothing on the heat strips yet. So I guess they're not getting any call right now. So we're going to continue to monitor that while I go check the unit upstairs. Got a bath fan here. That's nice. 
Don't complain about my line sets, Facebook. Looks like we have FC 48 and a half, over 30, two and a half tons. Probably matched up with a two ton, not sure. Two and a half ton air handler. We'll turn the power off to her and take a look. So we have a little bit of growth. And it stinks. You can see it down there. Let's see if I can do this together. That stinks in there. Oh my gosh. All right, well, let's check the run capacitor. A 10 microfarad capacitor. We'll just take it off all the way. See what we're at. nine microfarads so about 10 percent off which is technically too low as well so pretty much all the capacitors suck we got 1.19 amps on the fan which should be just fine should be a problem so i'll button it back up we'll probably turn the ac on for a few minutes to cool it down up here so we can run the heat because it's like 75 degrees up here we are starting the system up in air conditioning because i need to cool off the temperature in that space up there, we can take some readings while we're doing that if we want. We can take voltage readings and stuff like that. But we'll take the other readings while it's in heat, since that's the... That's what we're really testing today, even though we're almost in AC season. It's cool outside, so... We'll let our pressure stabilize. Looks like they're on the low side so far, but it is cold outside. We're around 50, 55 degrees. Now we're in the brand new truck. You can see some of the tools behind me there, strapped in wow. like babies. Because if they don't strap them in, they'll clink together and blow up. Wow. Well, wow. Lana, what do you want to do in the new truck? What did you request to do? Bluetooth. Bluetooth. The new truck has Bluetooth. I'll be damned. I got a car that's got Bluetooth. It's crazy. Would you like to pair to this device? I see he's already working on connecting to the Bluetooth here. We'll see how much things clink around in here because I see I have some stuff that could potentially clink together. Here, back here. So if it starts to clink around, I can't take that crap. We gotta stop that, so we'll see. All right, guys, more as we get it done.